All right, we're back for part two. See, I promise, I told you, there was going to be a part two, and it's part two. By the way, this is Brandon, a.k.a. DJ Silk, and this is the Culture of Mrs. Podcast, and we're just going to jump right into the business. I am absolutely, yo, that trip was so dope. It was so incredible. Anyway, so there's a lot of people from Philly that was down, because it was 4th of July weekend. So there's a lot of people I know, because that's when I was heavy in the clubs and stuff. So I'm hanging out with this person, that person, her. Like, it's just, it's just wonderful. So by the second to the last day, well, my last full day, I'm cocky because I'm like, I've been drinking all this time and I've never been more than nice. So mm. I end up going to Wet Willie's. <clears throat> I leave her in the room because she's, she's like, I don't want to do this tourist shit. I'm like, I'll just hang out in the room. Right. Mm. So I, I meet with a couple of friends, um, J-Rock. Um, and uh, so we uh, we start drinking at Wet Willie's. Are you, so Wet Willie's has fruit, fruit. Slushy drinks. Oh, oh sounds good. I'll be all about that. Yeah, yeah, right. <clears throat> so we, uh, they have a drink called Call a Cab. Oh, it's sure. grain alcohol. It's mm-hmm. like strawberry mix, grain alcohol, right? right. The name is scary. What? Yo, right. Call a <laughs> yeah, Cab, right? right. <laughs> so we're at Will Willie's on the second floor. Yo, having the time of our lives, right? So I had like four. Four of them, right? So this is over hours, though. Like, so I'm just yeah. like, I'm not you're knocking pacing, them down, right? Yeah, you're just pacing yourself, yeah. But I didn't get up. I didn't move oh. from one place, right? <laughs> so, so, so I'm like, I, I get the fourth one, and I take a couple of sips. I'm like, oh, I gotta use the bathroom. I hadn't broken the seal at that point in time, mm-hmm. right? Oh no! So I get up. <laughs> get All of that is just cooking. Yeah, right? Yeah, it's cooking. Yeah. It's marinating, right? <laughs> so I, I, I get up. I go and use the bathroom, and on my way back, I go from sober. Too nice, too drunk in five minutes. Right? <laughs> yeah. So mm-hmm. I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, I gotta go. I gotta go, right? So my hotel room, like, so Wet Willie's is like, I think like 10th in Ocean or whatever. My hotel is like 7th in uh-huh. um, Ocean, right? So there's all these people, like, because it's 4th of July weekend, right? So I leave. <clears throat> So I'm walking, and I know I'm trying to not look like I'm drunk, so I probably look like I'm real drunk, because I'm, like, walking with my, my back straight. Like, I'm trying not to lean. I'm not, I like, straight line. So as I'm moving back to my spot, this girl, shout out to Hamira, was there that I liked, right? And I've been trying to, like, hang out with her all the, the whole weekend. This is the time that she's like, hey, I'm at the, ho- I'm at the restaurant at the ho- that's underneath your hotel, right? Why don't you stop by? I'm like, oh, God. All right. <laughs> so you said all right. All right. Like, but I'm I'm like I'm not fully drunk yet. No, but it's, it's crazy happening. though. Yeah. It's like you knew that it was time to go home being this lit. Right. Yeah. Cause I could feel it. I could feel my body descending into this like <laughs> This bad, this I'm going to be in a bad way. I'm going to be running down ocean with my pants off, <laughs> falling all over myself. Like it's going to be bad. I can feel it. Right. So I'm like, no, nah, I got to see her mirror. I got to see her. I got to see her. So. I go to the restaurant. She's sitting down and um, with her girlfriend. And I don't even know what was said or whatever, right? But <laughs> I'm like, all right. They were just about done. I'm like, all right, I got to go to the room because I had left my friend up there. Now it's been like four hours. Mm-hmm. I left her in the room. Oh, right? shit. Yeah, right. So I go upstairs and knock on the door because she had the, I forgot the key right there. She opened the door and she's about to cuss me out. And then she takes one look at me. She's like, oh, shit, you're fucked up, aren't you? I'm like, yes, I'm fucked up, right? So, <laughs> yo, so I'm like, oh, man. So I get in the room and I sit down on the bed. And she, like, starts trying to strip clothes off of me, like, because mm-hmm. she, she want, we had been having fun all weekend, right? Yeah, so, yeah. and I'm like, no, 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 no. You got to give me a minute. You got to give me a minute, right? So then I realized I lost my T-Mobile sidekick. Yeah. Oh, I had the whole, it slid out of my, my oh, thing, right? Shit. So I had two phones, I, right? But I'm like, I lost my sidekick. Oh, I'm not gonna go back to where Willie's. Hold on, pause. You know what a sidekick is? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm okay. you know I mean? just making sure. Yeah. Okay. Yo, that joint. I wish they would bring that joint back, man. I ain't gonna lie. I still have it. Oh shit. I still have it. Okay. Like it's still. All right. But uh, sorry about that. Nah, it's cool. That was a <laughs> just, good question. Let's make sure, sure right? Because he's young, yeah. right? I thought it was the beeper at first. I'm like, nah, it's 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's not 2008. The flip around joint. So I get up. I'm like, I'll be back. I'll be back, Jill. So I make my way back to Wet Willie's. Oh, Lord. Like, they let me in. I go up. I look around for it. Now, my man, it wasn't J-Rock. It was Saul. My man, Solomon, right? <laughs> Solomon had left, right? No, he was still there, right? Because I left him, right? So uh, so I go, and I'm looking I'm looking for the sidekick. It's not there. I go back to the to the restaurant. 
look, it's not there, right? So I go back up to the room, right? I sit down. Now Saul calls me. <laughs> <laughs> like, hello, on my other phone. And he's like, Sil, you got to come get me. I fucked up, dog. <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> I'm like, I can't help you. I fucked up too. I can't do nothing for you. <laughs> so, I up. so I hang up on him. She starts to proceed to start trying to strip me again, right? Mm-hmm. Now the room, oh. things are starting to happen. Mm-hmm. At, inanimate objects are starting to shift and move, right? <laughs> and I'm like, worst. I'm like, yo, I'm like, look, could you please go down to the to the restaurant and just ask them if they found a phone, please, 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 please. please. She's like, all right, I'll go down. I'm like, all right, cool, cool, cool. So she leaves. I go in the bathroom. I stick my finger down my throat. Because mm-hmm. I knew. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm throwing up on my terms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I am not going to wait for this shit to happen. No, I, I'm in control here. Right. So I throw it all up. Um, for years, I couldn't have a call a cab after that. Because I just, that it's mm-hmm. the taste, right? Mm-hmm. So I throw up and get it all out, right? And then I, you know, brush my teeth, rinse my mouth. I go and I lay on the bed, and then that's when the shit started spinning. Oh, like I really did feel like I was going to fall off the planet. Mm-hmm. I felt like I was going to spin off the planet. Like it was like mm-hmm. oh, shit. so. I closed my eyes and it would stop, mm-hmm. and then it would start with my eyes closed. Oh, and I would <laughs> then I would open my eyes and it would stop, close it. So this happened for like five minutes. So then she comes back. She's got my phone. Nice. They found the phone. Nice. I'm like, great. So then she begins again to start trying to undress me, right? And I'm like, yo, you got to give me like 20 minutes. I got to get my shit together. Please give me, just give me a few minutes and I got you. I promise you. I got you. Right? So I go to sleep. That was like six o'clock. I woke up at three in the morning. We were supposed to have gone to Club Mansion. Mm-hmm. The plan was go to Club Mansion, party. You did all this early then. Oh yeah, this was day. This was like day party shit. This was before day parties were a thing, right? <laughs> this was yeah, because like it's a vibe. Like yeah, it's just yeah. a vibe there. Like and so it, because it was Fourth of July yep. weekend, it was a lot of people. Yeah, it was just it was. That's why I used to love Miami so South Beach so much. It's very different from what I experienced the last time I went. I'm like I don't I don't know that I need to ever come back. Mm. Um, oh, at least wow. not South Beach. Oh, wow. North Beach, yeah, but <clears throat> South Beach it's okay. just too. It's whatever. Like I'm older. I'm older anyway. Yeah. But. Yeah, so the plan was, yeah, we were going to go to the club, party, and then she was going to take me to the airport. Now, I woke up first. She woke me up, basically, to take me to the airport. I felt so bad. Um, she was laughing at me. Like, so Bill picked me up from the airport, right? I got into his car drunk. Dang. I was, I was, I was still drunk. I remember going through the Miami airport, <laughs> like, drunk. And I, and I checked my bag, so I had no bags. I went through security with just me. I'm like winding, meandering through the terminal, like, like I had the best <laughs> ever, and that was the last time that I got drunk like that. Damn, bro. Now I know. Now I know. <laughs> Damn, you still had some night left too, bro. You could have saved some of that shit, bro. I was so. It's green alcohol in a Keller cab, bro. Yeah, it's green alcohol. Green, green. I'm like, G-R-A-I-N-E. what the fuck is that? Though? What is that? What is that? Green is like it's like it distilled a certain way, but it's 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 um much more potent than your okay typical alcohol. Like, listen, man, I forgot what the percentage of the alcohol is like what grain ranges from, but it is. <laughs> listen, bro, grain alcohol is the alcohol that you give to people if you want them to kill, die. It is. Let's see. Famous examples of grain alcohol ever clear, which is odorless. Fla- oh, that's the problem. Right. It's odorless, it's flavorless, and colorless. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So literally poison. Yeah. yeah. Like, so you could give somebody grain alcohol, it's 95% proof. 90, yeah. Yeah. It's 95% proof. Grain alcohol will kill you. Yeah. Colorless and tasteless toes? Yeah. I'm colorless. On me. But yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Mm. No, so like, yeah, you could put grain alcohol. Like the first time I had grain alcohol was at, in college and was jungle. They put it in jungle juice. Mm-hmm. And But my tolerance was so crazy. I had the same amount that other people had. And I did, there was nothing. It had no effect on me. But they was fucked up, like passed out and stuff. I'm like, that's why I, st- that's why I never drank like mm-hmm. that. Because that was like the first time I had ex- my experience with drinking was at this party. They had the jungle juice. I drank some, you drank some, Bill drank some, y'all are passed out. And I'm like, do, 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 um, I guess I'm going to go home. Yeah. 
So the I didn't. So yeah, I'm like, so what's the point? Like, I don't, I don't know. So that's why I never really drank right. until like my late twenties. Right. And then you know. Yeah. Well, you, you heard of moonshine and all that yeah. stuff. Right? Mm-hmm. Moonshine is considered grain alcohol, but it's like the proof is like a hundred and up. plus. Okay. That's why it's illegal. Yeah. So grain alcohol legally it, is the highest that you can get because because moonshine would kill you. You know right. if you you know so. You, well, it was the part. It's in part because of the it, the process. The, the pro, yeah, the process. It's not the liquor in and of itself. It is like I'm making it in my dirty bathtub that I just. <laughs> it's got ring. It's got scum ring around it. You know, like it's it's not a. Yeah, it's, it's not a sanitary. It's not. Thank you. That's the word. It's, the sanit- <laughs> it's not a sanitary. That's why I like. Good moonshine is fine. Mm-hmm. Bad moonshine, like they they would be distilling it in car radiators and not rinsing the car radiators out. Oh, no. So you have the antifreeze mm-hmm. mixing in it. That's why. What the hell? I yeah. know, man. Was, white people. White people shouldn't like this. <laughs> WPS. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I have food. All right. So they won't hurt you. Yeah, just a little bit. You'll be fine. All right. So let's play. Let's actually. So there's play stupid games, win stupid prizes. But I, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm remixing this, and it's like this can't be life. Mm-hmm. This game, because life, world is crazy, right? Right. Um, have any of you ever wanted to go to Bangkok? Uh, I've heard Thailand is very um, beautiful, mm-hmm. uh, but I've heard some. Talk about the girly men's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you weren't gonna say it, I would have said it for you. Um, I saw a Hangover too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's my reference point. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. Um, all right. Would you go to Bangkok? No. Damn. Yeah. That was very definitive. I mean, nah. I'm but because the girly men? Yeah. You afraid? I'm afraid of being tricked and deceived. Yeah. The hole is a hole, sees. <laughs> <Stop. laughs> <God, damn. laughs> I mean, a mouth is a mouth. <laughs> what happens, happens. But I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't put myself in that position. So for me, it, it, this time in my life would be a different situation because I probably would more than likely nine times out of ten would be going with my wife. Mm. So we were probably doing some sightseeing and seeing the beautiful parts of yeah. Thailand and all that stuff too. But yeah. And the food. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, all right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Party animal there. Like... No, nah, like, no, the, I mean, the girly thing really does kind of bother me, but yeah, but, but then again, you know, like if somebody presents as a female, they're you a get female. Some, you, you get some head. I mean, not if I know that they're a dude, like if I don't know, I don't know how I would feel after the fact. Like it was really good, and then it's like, yeah, I'm actually a man. It's like, God damn, I'm conflicted now. Like, yo, yo, <laughs> it's the same. No, but I mean, they talk like when we talk when we talk about like sex positivity and stuff, yeah. and like mm-hmm. and heterosexual versus homosexual. Like if somebody presents themselves, if they're if it's female, it's only homosexual if it's obvious that it's male. You know what I'm saying? Like. No. You don't know what I'm saying? I, I know, you know what you're saying. saying. I'm not going to put you out there. You're not going to put me out there like yeah, that? I know what you're saying. You're going to put me out there like that, dude. <laughs> what <laughs> you going to do, Will? You, uh, <laughs> you know what he's saying? No, no, I, I see what he's saying. I, I, I yeah. can, can kind of understand what he, he's, he's, he's alluding to. Yeah, but. like, yo, if it's, yeah, if it's, if it's like everything, it's like a, a like if oh, you have a girl and she's like, I want to, I want to peg you, oh. right? Anal sex, right? Mm. Okay. Technically, well, she's doing it. You're not aroused because it's a man thing. You're aroused because she is the one that is doing everything and whatnot. Mm-hmm. She don't pull out something that look like a big veiny dick. Now that then, if, if you, if, I was following you, but then this guy is just <laughs> <laughs> no. But that's my point. Like no, she pulls out something and it looks like a like a male penis, and you're still like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> All right, now I got questions. But instead of some sort of cylinder, it just is a cylinder, and it's her very phallic. You know? yeah, yeah, right, yeah. right. So that that's the difference. So so you go to Bangkok and the, and it's a girly man, but it's really presenting really strongly as a female. Like you don't know, you're tricked. It's not. I mean, I'm not gonna go. I don't even want to be Yeah, if that's like it. if that's what we know is over there, I'm not about to put myself over yeah. that situation. Nah, but, um, you should go see. It looks fun. What if you get prepared to perform? Yeah, I do it. See? Yeah, it's different reasons. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And then saying. there's groupies. Yeah. Oh. And, and I'm sure they look good. Girly man. Right? Girly man groupies. And I'm sure they look good. All tough. No. <laughs> see what you gonna hear? You gonna hear flash? Hear me in your head like a hole is a hole, a, hole a mouth is a, is a mouth. I see a mouth is a mouth. <laughs> Watch the matter, map. Yo, right. uh, anyway, so in Bangkok, um, they have a monkey problem, right? The wildlife official laid out a plan Wednesday to bring peace to the central city of Thai City after at least a decade of human monkey contact. The macaques, I guess that's what they're called, macaques that roam Lombardy. 
are a symbol of cult, local culture and a major tourist draw. But after years of dangerous encounters with residents and visitors and several failed attempts to bring peace with population controls, local people and businesses have had enough. The monkeys frequently try to snatch food from humans, sometimes resulting in tussles that can leave people with scratches and other injuries. Just let the food go. Right. God damn. Yeah. Like, once the monkey touches it, that's yeah. just you, dog. Yeah, why, why, <laughs> yeah, why are you fighting with the monkey for some goddamn Go get some more, right. Cutlets and shit. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> but outrage grew in March when a woman dislocated her knee after a monkey pulled her off her feet in an mm-hmm. effort to grab food. Though she had a she had a serious grip on that, mm-hmm. and another man was knocked off a motorcycle by a hungry monkey. Authorities hoped to round up some twenty five hundred urban monkeys and place them in massive enclosures. An official monkey catching comp- campaign was launched uh, this week, prioritizing more aggressive alpha males. It has caught thirty seven monkeys so far, most of whom have been placed and put under the care of wildlife authorities in the neighboring prov- province of Seta Budi. While others were sent to Labordi Zoo. That's a shame. They just locking up the monkeys. Yeah. Officials say they plan to capture the rest of the monkeys once the enclosures are complete, especially those in residential areas. Separate cages will be prepared for different troops of monkeys to prevent them from fighting. Some have been blaming the city's monkey troubles on tourists and residents feeding the animals. Mm-hmm. Duh. Yeah. Which they say drew monkeys into the city and boosted their numbers, as well as getting them accustomed to getting food from humans. Right. But an, yeah, but an earlier effort to limit feeding may have made things worse. Some residents say local officials began threatening fines for feeding monkeys outside of a few designated areas around the main tourist attractions in recent years. But the, those feeding areas were dominated by a few troops of highly territorial creatures, while rival bands grew hungry and turned to harassing humans on the areas for food even more. That's crazy. Yeah. Don't feed the animals. Yeah. I mean, for them to think that they could coexist with these animals because you have to understand monkeys. Like maybe that specific species is a little different, but monkeys have culture. Mm-hmm. Monkeys have societies. Like yeah. Yeah. They, they're, they're gangs. Right? Yeah, they're literally us. Yeah. 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 Like for you to think that they wouldn't have these sort of like uh, ways of attaining what they wanted at the end of the day right. like, and going, doing it by any means. Right. And they're being, they're strong as shit. Yeah. Like these animals are strong. I know. I don't, I don't think that, I don't think the answer necessarily needs to be to round them up. I just think the answer is just fucking feed them. Like the like the government, like they would have like just put food out. Like they're they're like the problem is that once they stop feeding them, mm. that's when they got aggressive. Yeah. So they were fine when they were being fed by like, but once they stop feeding them or had these designated areas, and then you have these areas run by monkey gangs. They're like this is our food. <laughs> this is our food, food. And the other ones are like, yo, dog, we starving. Like we starving. So then now we got to go elsewhere to get our food. You see what I'm saying? Sounds like that area just doesn't have a natural predator for these monkeys, like no tigers or mountain lions, panthers. No, maybe yeah. they gotta get some taste for those monkeys. Maybe they gotta cook. Some nah, of the so now you got tourists fighting off hungry monkeys and panthers and tigers and shit. I mean, it sounds like these monkeys are an invasive species. Like, why? Why well, is there something to control? Well, I, yeah, no, and I think it, I think the tourism, as they alluded to, is the problem of that. When we went to um, Mexico for our honeymoon, stay at a resort. It was nice. Um, and then we were by the water on the beach, about to get some food. Um, and then there were these, I forgot what they're called, but they look like, like a version of a raccoon. Yeah. And lemur? A, uh, no, I, uh, I forget. They're, they're native to that area, okay. but, um, they were all over the place. So you can be sitting down at your picnic table, eating your food and they're like walking by your feet. They're mm-hmm. like so accustomed to human interaction and people, probably tourism. It's all in the tourist area. Mm-hmm feeding them and all that stuff they have no and they, they weren't harming you but like they would come up on the table and take your shit if you weren't yeah. like there by it like you had to tell like I had to tell my wife like look watch my food because as soon as I walked away they were like trying to climb up on the thing to take your food as soon as you like left it was crazy wow. yeah super and there's wild. a lot of them it's super wild yeah see? so you know but I'm saying see it's like you have you have it's a city right mm-hmm. so you have monkeys it's an urban area so you have monkeys that are running around are you really gonna have tigers and panthers and shit like like we're gonna bring them in to go ahead and handle these monkeys. But that's the natural solution. So now they're they're you know, they're rallying them up, they're putting them mm-hmm. in cages as a way to, you know, you they're know, gonna fucking fix use it. They're gonna use it. Oh, yeah, them. absolutely. That's, they, they're oh. they're being nice. They're yeah. like, Yeah, we're gonna, you know, put them in this they're gonna fucking kill yeah. a bunch of monkeys. That's what they're gonna do. Yeah. They didn't say that in the article, but that's all I have I'm And that's what I imagined. Sure. Yeah. 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 That's what's gonna end up happening. because um, that's a lot of monkeys. I mean, they're saying twenty five hundred. Right. Doing, that's a lot. Yeah, that's when, a lot. This is what happens when deer are just overpopulated. Oh, yeah, right, exactly. So, yeah. what, is that not okay to kill some monkeys? Deer. Right. They're yeah. like people, man. No, I know, I, yeah, I, it's it's. I don't know. It's, Listen, man. It's wild. All I'm saying is, instead of rounding them up, have sites where they there's there's food for them by the government. 
I'm not saying but people like they're only going to do that because they're only doing that because they're looking for food and they they've lost they've lost the ability to fund, force you know they're that's how they get their food. It's like yeah. getting it from people. So, so the problem with killing them is the fact that we just can't use their remains as a resource, whether that be food or no, something. No, you took it there. No, because like, what's the difference? You're saying they're monkeys, they're like people, but like, I don't know. Just, I don't care. You, can you kill a monkey? That's inhumane. It's essentially what kind of boils down to. They look like they're close to us, man. They got arms and legs and hands and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, they, they they look like us. Do you want to be? I mean, I'm sure over there, they're like, fuck a monkey. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying, man. Yeah, could be, over there could be a delicacy. You never know. Like, that well, culture that was what any. Right. Indiana Jones where they had monkey yeah, brains it's like monkey boy. brains and the, the skull opened up yeah, I think it was like, was it like oh, I no. think that was in India, in India I think that was where they were and, when they which did I that. think it is over there a delicacy but. Nah, mm-hmm. man, like you don't want to have to you don't want to have to kill anything I really I think what they could do is that they could capture them and like a, a percentage of them and spade and neuter them so they can't reproduce but also have just food just have food for them if they, if they have food and there's enough food then they're not going to be Taking it from Taurus because they're they're fed. Like to me, that's the simplest solution. Right. Instead of trying to round up monkeys and t- send them to this zoo and yeah. send them to that zoo. But I think you would have to also have like an area. Like it's at that point, it's like, is there a feeding area that you have yeah. them at? Because then, because if they're out in the wild, it seems like it's just it's out in the wild. Like there's, oh, yeah. you know, like you seen a video like the video the monkey came and tried to snatch the girl away. Little girl away, yo man, dragged her down the alley. Don't laugh, Steve. I've seen a couple of those. Videos. Yeah, like you don't want to laugh, but it's like God, yo, the monkey. Yeah, yeah no, you could the same way they had designating air, designated areas where tourists could feed monkeys. Mm-hmm. You could just have food stations throughout the city, keep them fed. Cause yo man, this catching them shit. I think that. In a way, I think that word, you know, the spade and neuter. I seen you trying to keep the population down, but that's going to be because nature finds a way. Mm-hmm. You know, like you, especially in that, if when it's not really a controlled environment, like they're still out in the wild, like nature finds a way. They're going, they're going to spread that monkey juice. Lord, <laughs> not the monkey juice. juice. <laughs> not the monkey. They're going to spread that monkey juice. Lord, Lord. I'm just saying. Nah, that's cheated. But, so, right. so, you know, I, I picked that story because it's all about travel. Mm. And one of us has been to places. You just got back from a place, didn't you? Yeah. Um, Where'd you go? We were in uh, Italy and uh, Rome specifically and Paris. Awesome. So family trip. Do you know any other languages? Uh, No, I do not. Even though I took languages in high school, I did not follow up on those. Mm. So no. Didn't you take French? I took French and Spanish. Did you take Did you say? I took French and um, I'm actually part Puerto Rican. I know. My grandmother speaks Spanish. Uh, My great grandmother came from Puerto Rico. She just passed like last year or so. But you know, I mean, it's in my it's in my roots to know Spanish, but I don't know it. Oh, you want a fake Puerto Rican? I see. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I'm so dark. And like growing up, they were like, "Oh, you can't be Puerto Rican. You're black." So I just embraced that. I'm like, yeah, I'm yeah. black. Yeah. Damn. I well, know. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's different now, of course, because yeah. you can be white and from Puerto Rico. It's right, like it's, right. it makes sense. Yeah. But back then, like even ten years ago, yeah, it was. Yeah. I know. Wow. Because oh, yes, yeah, blanc, blanquitas and naguitos or whatever they say. <laughs> yeah, it's culture. Like you, we all come from the same aspir, uh, African diaspora. Mm-hmm. Like we all come from mm-hmm. the same thing. It it's right. really comes down to culture. Like that, yeah. you know. So, but you know, capitalism. Yeah, to learn mm-hmm. Spanish now, it'd be like more of like a flex. I mean, of course, there's you should know it to be able to use it. Just given like the mm-hmm. population in America right now, but um, I mean, it'd probably just to get some Spanish mommies. That's all. Because they don't expect it from me at this point. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of Dominicans over here now at this point. So, yeah. Oh, Lord. He's just exposing himself. Nah. It's just, that's a different, that's a whole different dating environment. We call it that oh, man. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm not, I, I, I've dated Dominicans in the past and ain't going to do it no more. <laughs> if I can help it. Uh, they different. <laughs> they real different. <laughs> what up, Angie? Angie had a oh god. <laughs> Not that we dated. We didn't date, but that's my that's my homie. He's Dominican. She's Dominican. So yeah. that like yo, they just they're different. They're just they're very mm-hmm. they're like the culture is so I don't know how to describe it, but it's it's just it's different. Mm. <laughs> I'm like, all right, I get it. I get it. All right. So sees us in no Spanish. I definitely don't know Spanish. I took a lot of Spanish. I took three semesters of Spanish in college and it's still yeah. Oh, God. And in high school. Yeah, high school, <laughs> college, and dated Spanish speaking women. Mm-hmm. I'm just an embarrassment. Yeah, you just weren't on it every day, I guess. Like, No, I just got a block. I got a mental block for it. 
Like if I if I did it enough, I'm sure eventually, like one day I would I would like Monday I wouldn't know how to speak, and then Tuesday I'd be like, blah, 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 blah. like it would just because that's mm-hmm. the way my brain works. I just yeah, I just it's the conjugations, yo. Oh yeah, yo yo to what is it? No uh, social. Okay, that's <laughs> what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, it's that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's that. And then it, it like to a, a fluent Spanish speaker speaks so quickly. I'm like, I'm not hearing nothing. Like yeah. it's just mm-hmm. right. So anyway, so you went to Rome. What, so out of the three places, what was your favorite spot? So, uh, yes, yeah, so it was Rome and Paris. So I would say uh, Rome was was dope. Um, we was, saw the Colosseum was one of the first things that we saw there. So that was it, it, the city of Rome is just amazing. It, it basically, you know, you go to like museums or you go to like trips and stuff like that and you see things and then you're like oh that's awesome you know it's at this one location Rome the whole city is like the museum yeah it's creepy like everything there is like over 3,000 years old right. you know what like it's 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 crazy like people are just walking around cars are driving through but it's, and you see all these like just old buildings and ruins that are still there and it's just part of their life and their culture and it's they embrace it and it's, it's it was it was amazing. It really okay. was. A lot know? of tourists. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, so yeah. Uh, we were close to Easter weekend, so it was bananas over not there. Not xenophobia. Uh, Damn no. man. <laughs> I always wonder because they can just tell when you're American. Right? Uh, oh yeah, they can definitely. I mean, but it's you're in a, like the tourist area, so they don't. It's it's for the most part, people in both cities are very welcoming, very nice. <laughs> he said, "Oh man, <laughs> <laughs> not <the> xenophobia." <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was it was cool. It was um, we, I, you know. Uh, they take U.S. dollars just like anywhere else. I mean, some of really? them. Really? Yeah. Um, you didn't have to convert no dollars? You could have if you wanted to, but I didn't. I didn't. Well, wait. So, so there's no more euros, right? <clears throat> oh, there's still the euro. They still have the euro? Because mm-hmm. they were supposed to dump that, I thought. So, okay. But no. they do take, you could mm-hmm. take dollars. Okay. The euro is still a little bit stronger than the U.S. dollar, though, too. So okay. that's probably why they have not dumped it. <laughs> nice. It's not a whole lot, but it's. I think it's like six or eight cents difference. Okay. Um, okay. But, so everything was around the same? A dollar was yeah, a dollar? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Close to it. Um, and it's not any more expensive there than it is here. You know, everything was pretty much comparable in terms of like fooding, uh, food, eating, you know, stuff like that. Did you have a pizza over there? Um, I did. It was different. <laughs> it wasn't good. It, wasn't it was like good. It was, uh, I didn't really notice anything. Oh, you didn't go was, to like pizza hut though. No, <laughs> no, we went to the first night we ate there. We went to like a legit, like, Italian restaurant, you know, okay, of course, right, of course right. it's a legit Italian restaurant, but it was, yeah, the food was re- excellent there. Every, you know, the, you know, it was really good, but uh, you know, the pizza did it was, taste fresh? Like, oh really? yeah, like every. So it, it's funny as you get older, <laughs> your body reacts to like different foods differently and stuff like that, especially here in the U.S. Oh, and yeah. when you go to other countries and stuff and start experiencing stuff, eating their food, their you know, your body is you realize how much stuff we put in our food versus what they put in their stuff. Like everything is fresh there. Um, like typically, you know, like a lot of people, milk or like lactose mm-hmm. is not my friend a lot of times. You can handle it there? Dude, it's crazy. It's like a lot of the like creamy dishes and stuff like that that would normally like, you know, have you in the toilet or, or gassy or something like that. Nothing. No issues with that whatsoever in the entire time. The eight days that we were in Italy wow. and, and, um, in Paris. Yeah. yeah. Just that alone. Like, yeah. Just it's, outside the U.S. Yeah. Anywhere. Just it's crazy. It was just like everything. Like. The entire time I was there, I was like, man, then I come back, you know, eating stuff. And we're like, oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> Shit, <you throw laughs> Welcome up. back, sucker. Oh, <laughs> Don't eat no McDonald's on the way back. Oh, no, yeah. But it was like, yeah, it, it, it was like, wow, this is this is crazy. You know? Wow. But it just, it, it, yeah, you realize how much the crap we're putting in our food here. Yeah, well, it's like the um, people have the, t- like, they can't have breads. What's mm-hmm. it called? Um, gluten? Uh, gluten. Yeah, they yeah, have the yeah. gluten allergy. Yeah. But over there, like, you, if you have a gluten allergy here, you can eat stuff bread mm-hmm. all the things you can't eat here you can eat over there yeah and even though it's nice too in the restaurants there that we went to almost every one of them especially in italy um they had all like the allergy stuff like listed on their menu so it was like numbered so if you had an allergy for like peanuts and stuff like that would be like number one or for like gluten it was like number two and then as you're reading down the list of the on the menu it has like one two and then whatever you know so if you have like a child or something like that that is like allergic stuff or you yourself is allergic you can kind of have a better navigate idea navigate it yeah it was just cool like you don't really see, I see that here and there they just make you know on the menus here in the states they'll like mention their one food is like oh this doesn't have you know this has nuts in it or whatever and that's it but there it's like everything they had like four or five mm-hmm. things they would list as like a uh, like a an allergen. That's okay. awesome. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. What was the what was the thing that you liked least about over there? 
that's a good question. So, yeah. Hmm. That is a good question. Um, I would say the traffic. Really bad. It's uh, it's tight. Little, little it's intimate, little intimate yeah, over there. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> Italy is small cars, and motorcycles, mopeds, okay. bicycles. Like the largest cars over there was uh, an Audi Q7. Uh, for all my car people, uh, non-car people out there, that is a large SUV or yeah. semi-large SUV. That's the largest vehicle I saw there. Like everything else was like Mini Cooper rise size over there, or you're riding a moped, rain or shine. Oh yeah. yeah. And you were doing driving? No, 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 no. We didn't do it. We just saw. And like our luckily our hotels were. Um, within walking distance of like okay. centralized location. So we could 10 minute, five, 10 minute walk to most things. Okay. Um, either that we were taking public transportation. Like right. the bus and you train. want to, if you're visiting a place anyway, I'm sure, just walk in. Probably. Yeah, take yeah. It in, yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's, I mean, you you definitely see a lot of the um, the culture and just like get an idea. Like there, one day I just went out and just started, you know, we had a free day and I just went for a walk on my own. You know, you have your phone and your maps and stuff like that so you can't really get lost you can you know always get back to your hotel i just like to go walk like so a no, no hoods that cost you like on uh no. <laughs> what no. was the movie uh with denzel the last one we saw uh, oh oh yeah equalizer, yeah. equalizer. equalizer. Yeah, yeah. yeah yeah that's, <laughs> a, that's the new one right yeah yeah, yeah the latest it was one. good yeah it was you good check it out yeah. you need to see it it was good yeah. he was in italy yeah they were okay. in venice i think yeah, yeah i think we're one of the yeah we no. weren't we were that's told that's like hours away from where we were but still that's the, i would like i would love to go back to italy just to, to go to venice and stuff and to see that aspect of the country but um but yeah i didn't see any hoods um <laughs> didn't really see any sketchy area we were such a touristy area anyway you right. know it's just so many especially in paris a lot of bars um restaurants like every corner just like everywhere you look just food 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 and then they had bars and stuff like that. It was it was awesome. It was, it was, a, it was like it reminded me of like New York okay. kind of you know vibes, vibes. Um, old school Philly vibes. And used to be able to go to like you know, <sighs> yeah. old school. Philly. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of that, and it was just it was awesome. I know, yeah. I know. see y'all. Yeah. You came up in the wrong time though. Yeah, yeah. I guess so. Damn. Yeah, yeah bro. You, yeah, <laughs> the yeah, club yeah. scene back then, man, it was awesome. It was fantastic. <laughs> when people party. Yeah, people party. Yeah, actually dance. Yeah, yeah. Because the yeah. music was lent, it was created to dance. Dude. Yeah, not yeah. slit your wrists in the bathtub. Oh shit! Your high. God, yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> the boom bap. Uh, yeah, the boom bap. Yeah, yeah. Nah, that's cool, man. I'm glad you went. Yeah. So you've been so so out of all the places that you've traveled, mm -hmm. you know. So you have Paris, Rome. You have, was it Greenland or Iceland? Iceland. You went to Iceland. Mm -hmm. You went to Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. You went to Mexico. Puerto Rico. And Puerto, and Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. If you had to go to one of those places forever, no mm. other place, mm. which one would that be? Oh, boy, that's a good one. That comes with the question. Yeah, if you want to look yeah. at it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would, oh, man, that is hard. Um, I would, oh, boy. Puerto Rico. I, <laughs> I was thinking I was the Puerto Rico is definitely top it, I would say tie between Puerto Rico and probably Paris really yeah. Puerto Rico's up there yeah wow because Puerto, Puerto Rico first of all you know you don't have to exchange them. the money is all the same and it's, and it's a U.S. territory it's a U.S. territory yeah. so it's it's the closest to the U.S. if you wanted to feel comfortable you know and not really be you know out there like that it's and it's beautiful um, just gotta worry about getting taken away Hurricane. <laughs> hurricane, hurricanes. Flood, yeah. That's the only. That would be my only downside to that. But Puerto Rico's fun. I, it, it's it was beautiful. We went to the. I mean, the land is beautiful. People live off the land. That's again another place where my belly was not jacked at. But and none of those places actually were. And I had no problems with food. Iceland, none of those places. Um, but it's yeah, Puerto Rico was beautiful. And the Paris was just. It was cool too. That it reminded me closer to the states also. Mm. Um, and. The streets weren't as, I mean, it gets busy there and everything. Of course, you have the traffic, but it's not like, nothing like Italy. Italy. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Really different. Italy was, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Puerto Rico, I drove around. Like, I, we ran out of the car and we drove and it was easy to navigate and stuff like that. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, who would have thought? Yeah. Who would have thought? Yeah. You need to go to your homeland, I man. Know, right? you it's fun. It's, yeah. My wife went twice. She, she, we went together and was, and her mom came with us when we went. We had a great time. Um, and she invited her mom because her mom has, had not Prior to that, and I've been outside the U.S. either, and she convinced her mom to go. She was like, and she went, and we had a blast. My family just went. They actually just came from nice. there. Um, I didn't go. Um, I started it. a new job at that oh, point. Okay. So uh, yeah, yeah. I got a, Terrible timing, right? Yeah, yeah. I got to hone in right now. But um, Terrible timing. Yeah, I mean, they didn't tell me all that. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not an expensive trip. Yeah, round trip, they were telling me it's really cheap. Yeah, it's cheap. Yeah. Man, 
Ah, that's cool, man. Well, now we know Puerto Rico. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Puerto Rico. Yeah. I, I still have to go. Yeah, you, you would not be. I know. Yeah, that's why I, I'm a little Costa Rica too. To well, Costa Rica is all. I mean, in terms of beauty of all the places I've been, Costa Rica is like it grabbed me. That okay. was the experience there. Waterfalls and all that stuff. Just their national rainforest is phenomenal. It's just that was to me that one still sticks into my mind as the yeah the most. When did you start traveling? Like, was this later in life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, my wife got. Like, my wife has traveled before. She's been to Paris before, Germany. Um, she did it. She was in Germany, I think, for like a month or so when she was like in high school. Oh, so she speaks the language as well. She can. She speaks. She uh, she took German and like for four years in high school. So she doesn't speak as fluent. She still knows words and stuff, and she'll you know she can read it and all that stuff. So she's. On point with that, but um, of course, so it's never too late. It's no, 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 man. Nah, man. Some little stone, stone or whatever yeah. the new joint is. I, I forget what it's called, yeah. but uh, to learn the language, Duolingo. Yeah. But yeah. you also yep. have your you have your family as a resource, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's you know that, what I'm yeah. saying. Like it's gonna be easy, man. Just put stickers on everything around the house, vocabulary, <laughs> the yeah. Spanish version yeah. of it, and it's never too late to travel either. I'm no, no, not oh, at all, man. Oh, that's what you're talking about the language. Oh yeah, I think, yeah. Come, yo, he, like he's he's 23 going on 78. Oh my god, the way you talk, <laughs> yeah, no, like never too late. I'm like, what? <laughs> yo. I was 23. I was not thinking about traveling, so that's nah, the you know, but, okay. But you know what? That's I wish I had. Like I, you know, I would probably be more mindful and of how my spending was and just explore you know, mm. more. It's, it's definitely worth it. If you have the means for sure, do it. Cause it's, you know, it's, it's so much more out there than what we got oh, to offer. Where, where, is, where are you trying to go? Where would you like to go? Please? Mm, where would I like to go? Yes, um, definitely like somewhere in the UK, definitely, uh, mm. Europe, Europe wise. Mm -hmm. Um, um, I'm a painter, so I want to, I definitely, oh. I would love the landscapes. Um, I'm thinking like Ireland. Okay. Yeah. Ireland. Why not? They racist over there. Yeah. So <laughs> let me tell you, Italy. Oh my gosh. So no, I'm just saying, like, you're talking about like being a painter and all that stuff. You should see like Vatican City, um, the the Church of St. Peter. Mm, right. All those uh, those oh sites, of course. Yeah, I'm trying. I'll, I'll I'll show you yeah. after art history. After he, the, said, he said Ireland, dude. Right. After the podcast, I'll show you some pictures from it. It's it's amazing because. <laughs> It's, I'm not cat. Good lord! I'm not. Cat you put me on the spot. Hey, uh. <laughs> but Ireland. Hold on. Um, <laughs> but you said Ireland. Like, you fucking gonna go see yeah, the Lucky Charms? Yeah. If you go you, art and and painting and all that, Italy is where you need to go. Where's the, where's the last museum you've been to, sir? Um, I used to work at a museum just over the summer. Mm. So I was there pretty frequently. I'm talking about as a guest, sir. As a guest, not as an employee. Museum. The last museum I went to as a guest was the the Penn Museum. Um. The one in PA, where it's just a lot of archaeological, um, theological. University of Penn Pennsylvania Ye joint, right yeah. by the mm. hospitals and stuff. Yeah, but they got the yeah, yeah, the Music okay. Penn Museum of Anthropology. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's a really cool museum. It is. Yeah. All right, we'll have to have a culture of misfits art day. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Yeah. yeah. Why not? We'll let you organize that. Yeah. yeah, for sure. We can. Uh, I like the Barnes Foundation as well. Yeah. Philly has got some nice stuff. Yeah. Yeah. They absolutely. They have a lot, man. They yeah. really do. They have a really do. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we ready to see who's an asshole. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Excited? Let's see this. Excited? All right. Yeah. All right. So, am I the asshole? Well, am I wrong for being furious that my girlfriend got her male coworker a bunch of expensive gifts? My girlfriend, who's 24 years old, was having a party at work as they were celebrating five years in existence. They were having a gift exchange, and I guess the fun fact is they drew names of who they need to get a gift, and she got a guy coworker. The budget for the gift was pretty low at forty five dollars. That's a lot of fucking money for yeah, a coworker. Yeah, I ain't yeah, saying yeah. right. <laughs> low budget, what? right? Forty five. I guess we're not in the eighties anymore, no. Bill. Um, but my girlfriend got a bunch of gifts for this guy worth around a hundred and sixty dollars. Oh no. <laughs> Mm -mm. So I, I was very upset with this because first of all, she doesn't make that much money. And second, it seems super expensive. I told her this, but she said it's normal. After I did a bit of digging, I found out that she's actually flirty, flirty with this guy and he's part of a little group of people she knows at work. She even hung out with him and a few other coworkers for drinks, but never really told me about it. No, he, he never, she never told you, not never really told yeah. you, right? Mm -hmm. Here we go. <laughs> the other thing is that, is that, I know this might be a silly rumor, but they are, we're laughing that there is a rumor in the, at the office that they are sleeping together. That's a problem. <laughs> Am I right to be upset? Hey, what is happening here? Can he just be a regular work friend or is there more to this? Oh, there's more to that. Yo, you better have me die on my heels right now, man. There's, there's so many things that I'm thinking about hearing this. Really? Well, firstly, um, I acknowledge that 
in these work environments, we're there with these people a lot of a lot of the time. Yeah, more which, times than yeah. we're significant others. Right, right. Yeah. so yeah. that happens, and work boyfriends exist. Work relationships yeah. are real, you know. And um, what, what I would say now, and, and interject um, by saying, "Hey, I, I don't even believe in platonic relationships." No, when it comes to opposite sex. I don't. Why? Because no. they act. They, it's not Santa Claus, nigga. What? <laughs> <laughs> you. It's not that you don't believe in them. You are not cool with them. Yeah, I just I, I know yeah. my boundaries, and I don't want to be in that position. Right. You know, right? Well, well and that's a good thing that you know your boundaries and stuff right. like that, so you don't put okay. yourself in that. Right. It's so, a me thing. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I don't do that. I don't do that. Like mm-hmm. we can be associates. That's what I call it. Right. For sure. Okay. We, we talk. We laugh here, here, but um, nah. I'm not about to call you, Facetime you. Oh uh, yeah, no. You've never had a female friend. I have, friend. but okay. like you got to. But you also have to understand that like one of them, whether it's me or somebody else, they have feelings. You know. Yeah, they're human. Right, right. <laughs> I'm fucking with you, man. I'm fucking with you. You know what I'm saying. I don't I'm, about to... saying I'm fucking with you. I'm fully, I am wholeheartedly fucking with you. I get what you're saying. I don't want you to be that guy. I just know you're going to disagree. That's all. I know, but I don't, I, but, <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I also don't want you to be that guy. You think I'm losing out on stuff because I'm, what, I'm friend zoning females? Not friend zoning even, just kind of. Yeah, no, I think you're setting your, I'm setting, you're setting future relationships up for unnecessary speed bumps and troubles. By believing that just because, like, that believing that if a man and a woman have a, a relationship that, that one or the other has a sexual interest or a romantic interest mm. in that. Because that's definitely not, no, it's probably the case more than half the time. Right. But, <laughs> like, I mean, yeah. just being honest, right. like, more than half the time, that's probably the case. I think there's an etiquette to it, too. I'm not about to message you after a certain time of the night, you know, just things like Right, you right, know? yeah, there's boundaries, but I, mm-hmm. I just, I believe that, like, regardless of a person's intention what's important in the moment is how they're behaving. Like if you're, if you have, if I'm attracted to a female, but I'm not acting on it and I'm just keeping it friends, then we're just friends. It doesn't matter what my intentions are. Like, like if I had the shot, I would take the shot, but I, I don't have the shot. I'm not taking the shot. So we're just friends. You know what I'm saying? But if you had the shot, you take the shot. Yes. And that's, but if the, I had that's the crazy. Shot, but if I had the shot, she's giving me the, she's presenting the target. So it's not all on me. I see what you're saying. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, like she basically she's giving the vibe that she would be potentially interested. In, yeah. essentially is what he's saying. So yeah, yeah, yeah. See, let that let that let that marinate. But but you're going to be friends with her for years while you see her dating other guys, and then <sighs> in the background you always kind of considered like it's just weird. That's different. Yeah, that's different. Y'all just going to mess around? About, no. We, see, I, I thought we were speaking in the vein of she has a man, and I'm being friends with her. If she doesn't have a man. Then this it doesn't even matter what my intentions are because she's free. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I get what you're saying. So when she does have a man, you're you're, you're playing in that situation. You're still like, well, participating. See, at, at my big old age, not the fuck anymore. <laughs> 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 I'm not doing that anymore. Like I'm not like I did, even I thought, as friends, right? No, if I if I'm interested in you and if I'm interested, I'm, if I'm interested in a female and she's not interested in me, then I am not interested in being friends anymore the old me i'd have been like yo because it has worked in my favor like i just waited i waited no. and then this shit happened eventually but now i don't have the patience for it like because i saw a, a, a clip and this dude made a very good point he, he was like in a relationship in a situation where the man likes the female in that situation in that scenario the female makes out she gets all of the the she gets the support. She gets the ear. She gets she gets all those things, and she doesn't have to have, be intimate or romantic or anything. So she she's winning. Meanwhile, he's putting out. He's doing all these things, but he's not getting ultimately what he wants. So in the in that situation, he's always losing. And I'm like, yo, you know what? It's kind of true. And you needed a video to tell you that. It's Some not was... tell me. It was just to kind of bring it to my attention. It was just enlightening. Mm-hmm. It's just enlightening. And I'm just at a point right now. This chat. This particular chapter in my life. I don't have enough resources to be generous in certain ways Mm -hmm. if i'm not thinking about my shit if i'm thinking about your shit if you're coming to me and you're and i'm and i'm the the ear that you need i'm listening and i want to be a good person and i want to be helpful and i want to do everything but that means i'm not worrying about i'm not focused on my shit and i can't afford to do that right now i don't have the i don't have the excess for that so that's why it doesn't work. If we were, if I was in a different phase of life and I had it, then yeah, it's like, yo, we can be friends. I can be supportive or whatever. It's no skin off my back. Right. But every moment that I am not focused on my shit is a moment that moment that I'm I'm falling further and further behind, and I can't handle it right now. So is this considered cheating? 
Oh yeah. Uh, I say it is. I I would say it's definitely um, it's inappropriate. I think for sure. I don't cheating. For, you know, I, we don't know if anything's happening, so I can't say that it's cheating. Like they're you know they're, nobody said anything to them. But they're friends. Them. But they're friends. But the oh, excess. Yeah, like I'm just saying. You, <laughs> hey, when did it get inappropriate? The mo for who who's who you asking that question? Who's who's supposed to answer? Well, I Will was asking or? I was asking Will. Okay, because okay. I want to see what Will said. In my opinion, the wife was being inappropriate. Like if she's in a relationship already. And she's already spending this excessive amount of money on her. That's normal. That's not normal. I don't care who you are. It's not normal. And then to kind of brush it off when you're sitting the other says it's you know is upset about it. That that kind of like you're you're not respecting your partner's. Boundary, uh, boundaries, boundaries, and and you know, yeah, it, it's just that stuff has to be right, okay. respected, and then you'll share resources as well, so. right? Exactly, Possibly, yeah. yeah. So I mean, it's yeah, that, that that to me that's disrespectful. It's my wife and I always talk about that, like a relationship. A lot of it's respect. You know, if you respect each other, everything else kind of like falls into place for the most part. You know, so you know. <laughs> I'm waiting. You want to ask me or no? Yeah, when did it get inappropriate <laughs> for you in this? When he made when he made it known that he was uncomfortable with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He set the he established a boundary. So like on his face, we're thinking you know you're like yeah. oh you should never spend money on a coworker or whatever blah blah. But that's in a perfect world. The moment he said I am not comfortable with this, mm -hmm. and she did not say like at least apologize or acknowledge, or, or acknowledge like yeah. all right I understand that you're not comfortable with this in this situation. That's when it became inappropriate. Mm -hmm. That's kind of where it got me too. As soon as he was like, uh, that's not right. That's not cool. And she didn't care. Yeah. She didn't give she no just kind of brushed it off. She's yeah. like, that dick is good. Yeah. Sir. Dog. So if she cheating, she probably is, but there's no, I can't see there's no, evidence. No, she's definitely of... cheating. <laughs> she's definitely, uh, I, bet, I bet my bottom dollar that bitch is cheating. <laughs> like, okay. Uh, so in what world does it really make sense that someone would spend yeah. more than Five, let's see. It was forty five dollars. Was yeah. The she spent thing. more than uh, more than double. She spent. She quadrupled. Yeah. She more than quadrupled the the mm -hmm. budget. Yeah. So yeah, no. That's, and then that's, not tell them about like times they've hung out and the. Well, yeah. I don't. It's so it depends. So so tech in my world cheating, there is no <laughs> one act that you should you can consider as cheating. Cheating is going outside of whatever boundaries you've established mm. in the relationship. Okay. So you can have an open relationship and you can be like, you can fuck whoever you want, yeah. but you have to let me know beforehand if you're going to fuck somebody else. Yeah. Right. And then you go and you fuck somebody and don't let them know yeah. that's cheating. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's cheating because yep. that the boundary was established. You didn't do it versus some people. It's like, yo, if you look at somebody else, that's cheating. And if you agree to that and you look at somebody else, that's cheating. So it's whatever boundaries you establish in a relationship. If you go outside of those boundaries, it's, it's cheating. And that's why it's important to have the discussions about what the boundaries are, what the expectations are, get on the same page. What's cheating for me might not be cheating for you. What's cheating for him might not be cheating. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he made it clear that he was, like, obviously before this happened, there was no boundaries. And he probably didn't think he needed to have boundaries right. at the workplace. Yeah. Right. Who, who would have thought that, you know... <laughs> Bitch be quadrupling the, the gift budget, and that there's a joke about them having sex and all that. Mm, like, but that's not what, a good look. Yeah, but once he found that out, and he made it clear that, like, yo, I'm not, I'm not feeling this. This is not working for me. I'm not happy with this. And she brushed him off. Nah, was, you gotta go. You gotta go because you're putting your relationship with him above our relationship, and mm -hmm. specifically how I feel. Like, my feelings don't matter to you. What matters to you is you doing what you want to do with this person, whether they're fucking or not. Mm -hmm. You satisfied with that? Yeah. And um, if some other females were here, they'd probably, like, push back on that. I just, yeah. The only, think the about, only... Go ahead, sorry. It just makes me think about, like, just the, the caveat to that. Like, maybe the devil's advocate point of view. Advocate like, devil. Um, <laughs> is that you just being jealous? Is that you just being um, controlling? Is that you being... It can be all of those things. Like those are that those are fair questions, right? Mm -hmm. So we don't know what the dynamic of the relationship is. I find that like when you're comfortable in a relationship, mm -hmm. like super comfortable, you feel you're taken care of, your needs are taken care of, you don't there's no insecurities, you don't look you don't look at much of anything as being to be a reason to be concerned, mm -hmm. right? But the moment you get to the point where the relationship, you're not feeling fulfilled, you're not feeling seen, you're not feel, your needs aren't being met. Now everything that that person does mm -hmm. that doesn't that doesn't come to you in terms of energy focus is going to feel like 
you're being robbed. Like yeah. you're cheating. Yeah. You, you see what I'm saying? So yeah, mm-hmm. yeah pe- the only people that are worried about their significant other cheating and looking at whatever they do as possibly signs that they're cheating right. are, is a person who is already feeling like their relationship isn't working. Mm. You ever be like in your car and you think something might be wrong and now every fucking sound <laughs> sounds like this is this, it's about to break yeah. down yeah. <laughs> or, or that they're cheating themselves. Yeah. yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. Well, people yeah. project all the time. Yeah. yeah. I had yeah. that situation. Bitch was cheating, cheating, cheating. So why is he asking this question whether he's an asshole or not? Like, because, man, because he doesn't have any proof, but he's feeling triggered by all of these things. Mm-hmm. And so is he? I mean, and I feel I understand why he's asking that question. He doesn't have any little. I don't know if she's gaslighting. Well, no, she is gaslighting. Like, some, clearly something's wrong. Mm-hmm. Like, <clears throat> she's something... It doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter if something's wrong or right or indifferent. When someone comes to you and they say, hey, this thing makes me uncomfortable, you have a decision to make. You either adjust your behavior or you don't. Doesn't sound like she's willing to adjust her behavior. So... Yeah. She gotta go. She gotta go. Well, he gotta go. Yeah. He's got to walk away. Yeah, yeah, don't hang around. It's He's just, got to walk away. Yeah. But yeah, no, like, I think we we all, most of us do feel like we look at, um, we've, we've all signed up to agree that certain things equate to cheating. Like, oh, you know, if there's penetration of another person, that's cheating. <laughs> right? Yeah. But no, we've, yeah. we've all, we all kind of have, there's this universal, there's a universal acceptance of certain behaviors or things mm-hmm. that would be, that the average person would be like, yeah, that's cheating. That's cheating, that's cheating, that's cheating. Which is what's wrong, what we're doing wrong collectively. We don't. We need to start respecting our individual relationships and, and viewing them in an individual light and saying, and cheating actually is going to be whatever rules you put in place, whatever you both agree upon. So for him, moving forward, he can't ding her on the $160 gift this time, but he's like, the next time that happens, if you go beyond the budget of the whatever's right. established, that's cheating to me. Yeah, like I can right. even get to the bottom of this. Yeah. 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 I mean, you don't, it's like come, some things seem very obvious, but other things might not seem obvious. Like yeah. that would be a trigger for your partner. Yeah. You know, you, you have like, there's certain things you have mm-hmm. no idea. I had, I had a relationship where like every day it was like, God damn, I did not know that was going to be a trigger for you. I had no idea that, right. you know, me not sending you a good morning text at 9.05, like I do every day was going to be a shot across your bow. <laughs> or he shot across yeah. your bow, you know? So mm-hmm. she, again, she, she didn't know, she couldn't know he would be upset about the money. Theoretically. And theoretically, right. She, she didn't have to, she wouldn't, she didn't have to assume that he would be upset if they hung out with other people after work. Right. But once that's brought to her attention if she continues to do it, that's a problem. Yeah. That's a problem. I would say so. Yeah. Sorry. The, I almost feel like the old guys are, <laughs> Or coming out seas over here. No, but, I'm with yeah, y'all. Okay. I just all wanted right. to, you know, gotcha. we can all disagree. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's advocating for the devil. Yeah, fair. That's true. So, what you doing with her, man? What you going to do? How you? How? Um, I would bring it up again. I mean, of course, that would cause more issues, and that would drive the wedge between the two already. Why? Really? Yeah, because now it's like, well, I already told you it wasn't a big deal. Well, here you are again. I'd probably try to meet the guy. Like, hey, like, why am I not at these? Why are you trying to meet the guy, yeah. dude? What you doing? See, that's young boy shit. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, that's young boy yeah. shit. So w- what would you do? I mean, how do you uh, get to the bottom of this? Well, you so, talking about waiting until the next time it's a fucking, what, uh, Secret Santa? Like, No, nah, dog. Check the... Look, man, check the hoe. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> but no, it's like you, never, you should never go to the person who your partner is cheating or is the, is the questionable person yeah. mm. that's on her to manage this shit yeah. now she comes to you and says listen see I, I've told him to leave me alone mm-hmm. I changed, he's, he's still coming at me blah 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 I don't know what else to do then you go to the person and you're like now nah, I gotta check you right. but until that point yeah. that's on her Right. he has nothing to do with it that's not his relationship to respect okay. it's her relationship to respect yeah, yeah. Somewhere. Right, right. Like, yeah, control your girl, bro. Yeah. yeah. Like, I've yeah. never understood that. Like, you know, you always you see, you know, what was it, cheaters and all that stuff. The, they're going after the person they cheated with and stuff. Like, oh, you mess with my... I'm like, look, you, you're checking the wrong person. Like... <laughs> I kind of understand that. Yeah, I mean, it's I mean, anger, I, but... It's still. anger, but no, it's... When you do that, you don't want this person that you love, who's supposed to love you and treat you well, you don't want to... You don't want the proof that they're actually shitting on you. Mm. So you want to place the blame on the other person. Yeah. It's a very irrational 
thing to do. You're absolutely right. right. But I get it. It's like, yo, I don't want I don't want to know that you were the one that's actually cheating on me. I would feel much better that you cheated on me because this person forced you into it. <laughs> mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? That's a funny way of putting it. Yeah. yeah. But it's real. It's real, yeah. it's real yeah. man. It's like, God damn. I'm so sorry. Anyway, all right. So um I'm breaking up with her though. Yeah, yeah. That's I'm that's, out. that's a yeah. That easy? Yeah. Yeah. But was that easy for her to spend $160 on somebody and she don't make that much money? Mm. Like, she, was, yeah, yeah, what's going on? And she's not really respecting the, the, boundaries. the, the boundaries or you in general. Yeah. You know, that's that. It's, to me, that's what it's like. It's not even necessarily the boundaries. It's, but respect. Just, it's respect to you as an individual. She's not going to respect you now at that point. She's not going to respect you or never has really truly respect, respected you in the beginning with. So that's how I see it anyway. Yeah. Old man mentality. <laughs> Experience, man. No, I, I just, yeah. you know, it's one thing. I mean, there's, there, there's, there's unreasonable boundaries. There's unreasonable mm-hmm. boundaries that people can put in place that you can be like, nah, man, I ain't gonna work. Um, but I don't find that any of his boundaries that he's, he's the things that he's upset about. I don't understand why. There's no reason for me to feel like he's wrong for feeling uncomfortable about certain things. Like in and of itself, mm-hmm. either any of the things that he talked about in and of itself is not a big deal. Like, so the money part, the 160, if it was just that, she bought him a really good gift. Okay, that's cool. Because you could say, look, man, he's bailed my ass out of work so many times, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's cool. All right. Or if it was, yo, like they all get together and go out for drinks or whatever after work. That in and of itself is fine. Mm-hmm. But when you put the drinks plus the gift, now we got a problem. Mm. And then multiply that by the rumor around the office and the jokes yeah. that they're then we got a problem. She got to go. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't trust her. If he trusted her, this wouldn't be an issue. Right. Yeah. And that's, the th- he's going to have a hard time. Anyway. Yeah. Getting over that. Even if she did nothing, even if there's nothing going on, he doesn't trust her. And when there's no trust, there's no us. Yeah. I'm Ryan Mills. I'm dropping bars. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I've never heard that one before. It's surprising. Uh, yeah. But stop that. Even that might've been the first time I heard that. For real? That's Jay-Z, man. I actually did listen to Jay Z, you know, tw- yeah, nineteen ninety six all the way up to yeah. I've heard it. I'm sure I've heard it. Yeah. You got it. You got it. <laughs> See, look at me. I, I make sure I get credit where credit is due. Nah, that was uh, that's hard. <laughs> nah, man, but that yeah. I mean, sometimes it does. Like I really do try to drill down to the basics, mm-hmm. like to foundational, like core found core values, core things, right? And the tra- fact of the matter is that if a person brings something to your attention and it's obvious that they don't trust you, even if they're wrong. Even their accusations are wrong. We have a bigger problem because you don't trust me. You're you're thinking that I'm doing certain things that I'm not doing. We got it. This this is a whole another conversation. Like I personally am not going to deal with anybody who doesn't trust me, and I don't trust them. So, mm. yeah, yeah, no, that's true. Yeah, yeah, it's, mm. it's, 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 yeah, man. This is a bigger thing. All right. Am I the asshole for buying my girlfriend lingerie? This lingerie uh, for you. Drinking with people with a lingerie. lingerie. <laughs> I am 19, have been dealing with my girlfriend who was also 19 for about two years now. We've had a great relationship and I love her very much. Sometimes she struggles with self-confidence and feeling good about herself. I regularly tell her how pretty she looks and make you make your standard compliments to cheer her up. That never works, dog. Which she appreciates. No, she doesn't. Mm-mm. I say my love language is buying gifts and I typically get her flowers or small things I see she likes. I felt this was getting a bit samey, so I had a look online for present ideas for a significant other and saw the idea of lingerie. I bought this could be per- I thought this could be perfect. My girlfriend usually wears more plain underwear, so I thought I could get her something that would make her feel feel confident, look good, while I also got the benefit of seeing her in it as well. So when I came home from college, goddamn, I gave my girlfriend the gift bag with lingerie in it. However, when she opened it, her reaction was not what I expected. She looked surprised, if not disgusted, Mm -hmm. and asked why I bought that for her. I explained it was so she could feel confident and sexy, Mm. and it was something I thought she'd appreciate. She responded extremely bluntly, saying the only reason I got this was to fulfill one of my fantasies, and it was a present for me, not for her. Yes, it was, bitch. She shoved it back (laughs) in the bag, and it just in the corner of the room, of her room. She was distant that evening. When I tried to speak to her, she said she felt it was weird a weird present and she can wear any underwear she wants. And that's somehow something she should buy. True. I think it's a fairly normal, normal present to buy her a partner. Uh, no, of course, seeing her <laughs> and it no? was a bonus, but I certainly wouldn't say it was, a, it was a present for me. Stop lying. Even if she is still irritated about it. Am I the asshole? 
Son will. Uh, I will say, yeah, he he went. He kind of stepped over boundaries. I think mm. with that, Aww. especially if they're not husband and wife and everything. I get they're young. They're nineteen. Kids. Yeah, they're nineteen. But yeah, that's yeah. I don't buy underwear for my wife. No. <laughs> no. Okay. No, it's just you know, just we we know like when you're with somebody long enough, you know what their their likes are, and if she wasn't that comfortable with something, obviously she has an issue with that. I will not go to a place where. She has an issue with something and try to like put my take on it. What would make, I think would make her feel better on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you, you try to go a different avenue around it and you always try to reinforce the positivity of them. And you know, yeah, that don't but, work. Yeah. But go ahead. But all I mean, right. it's, I mean, yeah, it, you, <laughs> but that's all you can do. You know, a lot of times, sometimes that's all you can do. Like or that's, you know, but trying to, I don't know. It, it's just that, that's my take on it. I, I'll leave it that and just See, pass it on. I mean, <laughs> how you feeling, bro? I, could, I was, I would even go as far as to say that buying her regular clothes probably would have pissed her off, you know? You, oh, I'm supposed to wear this dress? Da, 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 da. Nah. Uh, possibly. Mm-hmm. But I mean, she's, yeah. she's projecting, is all I'm saying, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like, you just yeah. established that she has this self, low self-esteem. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and, and you're trying to help her right. through this. She's just like, hey, this doesn't help. I'm actually self-conscious about the way my body looks. Mm-hmm. So even, like, a dress or something, maybe even going as far as that would make her feel uncomfortable. I don't right. know. But um, is he the asshole? Um Sure, I mean that's a big jump from flowers mm. and shit. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Flowers to to clothes is a big jump. Mm. Yeah, mm. and then and undergarments on top of that. Right. Like that's <laughs> brand new. Like, mm. mm. like maybe a bag or something's fine in terms of like you know you know it's little accessories. But um, okay, I know you got a little freaky. Go ahead. Vibe Here we going go. On, so. Here we go. Here we go. No, but you know what? When I was <laughs> when I was close to that age, I did buy um, the person I was seeing on um, underwear lingerie Victoria's mm. Secret. It's all in the presentation. She loved it, right? I don't think, I don't think, I think he's the asshole for trying to act like it wasn't for him. Like he kind of undersold the whole like, oh, and the benefit would be that I get those layer too. Not like, come on, dog. Mm, yeah. Like you're doing it, you're doing it because you're trying to instill confidence in her. And if she's a more confident person, then if she's more confident with you. And he ultimately does benefit from that. I don't think that he's a he's an asshole for the thought. I think his his um the execution mm-hmm. of said plan was wrong. That I feel like for first for first time that you're going to buy lingerie for someone, um, and you feel like they have confidence issues, then that's a trip that you take together right. to you know to right. the lingerie place, right? You feel her out. Um, I'm going to I'm going to advocate for the devil, and I, I understand what you're saying. It's like mm-hmm. when you will when you say that you know your partner, you know their their temperament or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Um, my question though is how does the relationship and your dynamic evolve if neither person ever tries to push the boundaries into a different right. level to see. Right. Like maybe lingerie isn't your significant, and I'm speaking you generally, right. isn't your significant other's thing because they never thought about it. Right. Right. They never had the money for it. Mm-hmm. They didn't. But having their significant other present the lingerie, it's like, oh shit. I never even thought about that. Mm-hmm. Actually, I do like this. Right. Like, that's if we're going to build a life together, I don't want to be in the same fucking groove the whole time. Right. I want to be able to, to level up, level mm-hmm. up, try new things. Otherwise, we're going to get in a routine that we're going to right. we're going to fall asleep. Right. So I'm not I'm not mad at, at all for him for um, for doing it. I just think he picked the wrong chick. Yeah. Uh, and like I said, the execution, like and I'm mm-hmm. pulling up with C said, like going together as a couple, maybe first especially with her temperament, mm-hmm. not making it necessarily a surprise. Um, if they're out together, something like that, shopping, you know, yeah. they go into Victoria's Secret, pick her brain at that and get get a feel of how she is or how she's feeling. Because she said, even, like, she thought it was weird, yeah. you know. So, you know, maybe that's just something that she's just. No, nah, she's definitely projecting. Yeah. Like, sees it, you're, you're spot on with that yeah. one. She's insecure mm-hmm. and she does, she knows she probably gonna look like a hot mess in whatever lingerie <laughs> got her. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because yo, I mean, no, seriously though, there's some baddies that's insecure too, though. Oh no, oh, yeah. the, oh, yeah. the better the chick, the more insecure she is. But it's like, okay, so it's the choice of if we're gonna go with the lingerie example, because that's what's on the table. Mm-hmm. Um, picking lingerie, like, so if you know your girl has issues with her midriff, right, for whatever reason, mm-hmm. it's probably not a good idea to get her something where her midriff is exposed, right? You know, if she has insecurities about her chest size, making sure that you pick a piece that accentuates 
in a positive way, yeah, accentuate is a positive word. Um, like if she if she's um, insecure about her titties, then you're not going to get her something where her titties are just about out. Right. It would be covered. Like it's just making right. it's like trying to figure out okay, well where this is where she's at. So let me try to meet her halfway there. Mm-hmm. I don't think he's the asshole for trying. I think she's the asshole for the reaction that she had with it okay. because she's ignoring intention. Right. Like sometimes when the ex- the execution can be shitty, but you didn't have to ignore that and think and focus in on that person's right. intention. But she sees the intention as being like, you just want to see me in love. Yeah. It's like, yeah, bitch, I want to fuck you. Like, how about that? Like, I want to have right. fun. Like, right. I want to have right. a spicy, I want yeah. a spicy in the bedroom. Yeah. And you're like, your 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 uh, Woolworths six pack panty pack specials ain't doing it for me. Yeah. Well, she's thinking like, <laughs> well, am I, am I not desirable? You know? You know oh, I mean? yeah. Just to, yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah, shit. I need this to get you up now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and she's not really doing herself any favors by acting all weird anyway. So. No. Sorry. I shouldn't say that. She's no, no, weird, no. You it's... say it. No, you say it. <laughs> say it. You let, her, you let her be weird. Yeah. Have you ever given any gift sees that didn't um, land well? No, I'm not a good gift giver at all. You're not? Yeah, I don't know what the, what the gift. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I kind of suck at it too. Yeah. But, but I will, well, I've gotten better with it, put it that way. I excel at it. I love uh, giving gifts. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to pat myself on the back. Okay, all right. Don't hurt yeah. yourself now. Yeah, no, I will. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm horrible. I mean, I'll do some flowers or something, but um, maybe I'll do like a, a portrait because I have that in my bag, you know? Mm-hmm. Just, I can paint you or whatever. And yeah. That's a flex, but yeah. even then it's like, uh, I don't Where's know. my portrait? This guy. <laughs> I do that for the ladies, <laughs> man. <laughs> no, no. All right, so here's the secret to giving good gifts. Yeah. It starts with just paying attention to your the person. Mm-hmm. If you if you pay attention to them and you listen to what they have to say on a consistent basis, they will always give you nuggets of information mm-hmm. that allow you to be able to, when it's time to give a gift, things will jump out at you because those things will say, well, it'll be like, yo, that's your, that's Jess, mm-hmm. you know, that's C's woman of the week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow! Stop. I'm, 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 playing, yeah. I'm wow. playing with you. I'm playing. I'm joking. <laughs> wow! See how they think you know, Right? Wow! <laughs> no, but I mean, if you do like, and that's and that's that's a part part and parcel with being present and being yeah. engaged and like having conversations and going on walks and mm-hmm. and yeah. actually doing activities out in the world because you get all that information. Like you just kind of like my my thing is with my my approach with all of my relationships, like. Plutonic, male, like everybody. I have an owner's manual on everybody and I'm always updating and I'm always paying attention to Mm. things they say, things like down what they post on their social media so that I'm like, I'm studying, I'm studying you Mm. so that when the time comes that I need to show up for you, I know exactly how to show up. I know how to speak to you. I know how to engage, you know, all those things. Um, And you do that, giving people gifts becomes exponentially easier, infinitely easier. Yeah, I'm just a bad listener. Well, you know what? I and I will say that I'm not I'm not the best at that either. I've always and Brandon, that seems to come or silk, should I say? Oh, you yeah. know Brandon? Okay. Silk? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Brandon that silk. to me that I have always thought that kind of thing came natural with you. And mm-hmm. and and yeah. one of our other friends is good shout out to Mike Street. Yeah, with Street, yeah. And and Lyle Street too. Though you guys were always I did like my mom would say you get the gift of gab. Like you guys just and I was always like I said in the background, like I was always kinda like that looking in and just observing. I was an mm-hmm. observer. And, um, but you would think being an observer, you would kind of pick up on a lot of other things and it's not mm-hmm. necessarily the case, but you know, but I just always think your personality, um, your drive and all that stuff was just, you know, used to say you were, were uh, shy and all that stuff, but I never yeah. saw that when oh, I was, yeah. I never saw that. Yeah. You know? yeah, see, definitely. yeah. No, <laughs> if you were shy, then I was like a recluse. Cause that was, <laughs> cause it was bad when I was younger, man. Like, yeah, yeah. definitely. No, definitely. Shy. Look, but, man, I'm still having flashbacks of pussy. I didn't get, Cause I missed it. Just oh, went over my man. head. Yo, you gotta get it together, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, I guess we all do, though. You never, you've never had that moment where, like, just a random memory. You have a flashback, and you're like, Yeah, oh, you know, you're like, damn, man. <laughs> yeah, that's what she was going for. God. Yeah, 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 all the time. And then man. it's gone. Yeah, it's like, man, can I go back in time? But ship us out. Nah, but no, seriously, like to to, to be a good gig giver, and then sometimes, yo, you just ask. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just ask. But, you know, people are like, I don't know. I don't really. You don't yeah. have to get me anything. Right. And that's, like, that's how my wife is. Like, she's mm-hmm. like, oh, don't worry about it. Don't give me, you know. Like, but she I'm, wants something. And, not, not necessarily. She, I mean, we. Well, fortunately, we're both in a space where, you know, if we ever need anything, we can both afford it, you know, to get mm-hmm. it and stuff like that. It's just a matter of, like, being smart about, you know, do I really want this? Or am I going right. to get the most out of, you know, my money if I do this? So, with that being said, that's why I, don't, I would not buy her, like, really any 
like um, uh, anything that was, uh, let's see here, um, that she w- I knew she was not going to use, put it that way. Right. Right. Like, so, um, like lingerie and all that stuff, that doesn't really, you know, that wouldn't be like a gift to her. Well, all right, so. It would be something more. PSA, more fellas. Mm-hmm. Lingerie is always for you. Yeah. It's always right, for you. Right, right, It's always for you. It's yeah. always for you. Yeah. Or, in the worst case scenario, it's for somebody else. <laughs> no, for sure. <laughs> God. Like, 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 if she yeah, just puts the piece on at night, then you know it's like, oh, it's, it's, it's open season. Yeah, you're doing mm-hmm. that for her. You're yeah. absolutely doing that for her. But, like, for, so if I was ever to get Jess any something, it would it would be an experience-based thing. Yeah, something like that or That's, something or something like, um, I know she likes, um, certain brand of socks or shoes and stuff like that you so that the socks thing though. no like I know we're, we're, we're like we, yeah, we're nerds like that man we're like no I love my Bobby socks yeah, I ain't gonna lie yeah. like, I get it we're like features and like I, you know feature socks I, I, you know I wear wool socks so like we know mm-hmm. like if there's sales going on she's like look you know they got a sale going on I'm like oh that word you know like so stuff like that is like <laughs> what you know at our age is what triggers us you know for yeah. for uh, you know something that we like or we'd spend the money for you know it's beautiful so, yeah yeah, so. man. Nah, just like you, know, you can you can ask, but I mean, it's. I tell you, man, it like gift giving shouldn't be hard. I feel bad for my man in the sense that now he's going to be traumatized. Oh yeah, for, because he gave her something and the response mm-hmm. was not. He probably ruined their relationship. Yeah, he's he's paying the price for sure. Seriously, he the yeah. relationship is ruined. Mm-hmm. Cause, that's yeah. kind of crazy though it is but it, it but you know what it's too they're so young too so he's gonna find somebody else man that's not she, yeah, she, don't she, even stress. yeah yeah I, it's that that young age i was not thinking about who's my wife is gonna be right man it's probably it's probably this sex is probably bad like no because she's insecure <laughs> that's you're probably right yeah right yeah I like, would, ain't yeah. nothing worse than this. Like, turn off all the lights. I don't want you to see me. I'm like, oh my god, just leave, <laughs> <laughs> just leave. Never mind. <laughs> just leave. Uh, but go ahead, see. No, please. especially a one night stand type situation. Like, yeah, I want to. I want to see what you got going on. You about to? Oh, I definitely need to see if that's the case. Make sure yeah. I get something knocked in my head. Like, <laughs> Like, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> you talking about them Thai boys? Oh, yeah, boys. I ain't right. talking about these guys. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, we definitely gotta have something like God darn man. But nah. All right, fellas, this was wonderful. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, how, how was this experience for you? It was so, very yeah, yeah. I was I like, warmed up a little bit and you know, kind of got laid back. I was all up on the mic earlier. Helps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the Jack, a little bit. Yeah, Jack yeah. helped you out. Yeah, and of course, great company. Sees us. Pleasure meeting you oh, in yeah. person. Yeah, yeah. And I, we'll boys. have you back, man. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It, you yeah, know. yeah. Go time. That's it's, it. it's not a one time thing. Sees, yeah. sees Leo. I've been wanting to call you Caesar Leo for so long. I don't long. even know what that was. Yeah, yeah. Caesar Leo? Nah, I don't Is that a... Um, well, I mean, first of all, it's a play on your name, right? Okay. It's, 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 it's a term of... It's an uh, example of affection. Or term okay? of endearment. Endearment, okay. okay. Yeah. Anytime somebody <laughs> comes up with a name for you, yeah. just understand that's what it is. It's like, oh, I like you. You're dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. But Junior Mafia, Little C's, oh, like okay. C's Leo. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, rock with whatever. I thought it was like a Thundercats thing or something. I'm like, what? What is he... <laughs> All right. That's just what <laughs> season Leo. What is that? I don't know. Oh, because of the Leo. The Lino. Lino. Yeah, I mean, okay. that's the only thing I, I got out of it. Right? You kind of heard that so good. Man. That's <laughs> so well. Anyway. That's all good. See, what you got coming up? Um, now, keep in mind, this is probably going to be. This is going to hit mid May. Mid May. No, 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 no. Where are we? We're in April, right? Yeah, yeah. mid April. No. Early March. No, early May. Early May. Early May. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Mm-hmm. I, I can plug something that's happening in June. Mm-hmm. Uh, the guys and I were actually doing a concert over in Baltimore. We secured that. That's going to be our first Baltimore showcase nice. happening on the 29th, nice. the 29th of June. And we're excited about it, honestly. Nice. Awesome. Um, yeah, I went to school in Baltimore, so just oh, nice. for things okay. to go full circle in this in this way. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're out there for music, and uh, all those connections I made, they're just they're there. Awesome. That's what's up, yeah. man. Yeah, that is, that's it. Congratulations. That's awesome that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. No, just the DMV, man. <laughs> Yeah, it's a sound effect there, baby boy. Yeah, the love that they got in Baltimore, man. It's just different, you know. Where's it gonna? Do you know where it's gonna be at exactly? Yeah, it's a venue called the Crown. So um, mm-hmm. they have a smaller section, the larger section as well. We're gonna be in the four hundred capacity, larger section. Nice. So, um, All right. Yep, the Crown in Baltimore. You should be able to find it just off of that. Yeah. June twenty ninth. Another thing in June. I'm also curating the Delaware Contemporary Museum of Art. Oh, nice. That's at the uh, Riverfront in Wilmington, Delaware. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that'll be June seventh. Nice. And curation is just another thing. It's a background. Uh, aspect so of what does it mean art. so define enlighten us so when you say you're curious I know what the word curation means like, yeah. but what are you doing specifically what are you what medium are you curating yeah so um 
coming up with themes, of course, and um, the the one we stuck with was um, multimedia. Of course, there's multiple mm-hmm. um, you know mediums, mm-hmm. whether that be paint, um, clay, just something that's just not as flat. We're we're looking for three dimensional aspects of things, things with a lot of texture. Okay. Um, so in this case, uh, I've curated pieces that are literally protruding off of that that canvas. You know, something that's okay. actually coming at you in a way that's um, alleviating from that box, that boundary a little bit. Nice. Yeah. All right, man. I love that. Nice. I love that. I look forward to, you know, checking that out. Yeah, I'll give yeah. you guys the invite. Yeah. I need to be better about inviting people to my Yeah, other man, house. absolutely. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, Justin and I are always looking at to go do stuff like support local stuff. And, right. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, thanks. Stuff. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, do you want people to follow you? Oh, what's your C's? What's your... Yeah, Instagram is all hell C's on Instagram. Um, all social media platforms, Um, it'd be the same thing. C's Rodney on all streaming platforms. All right. Gotcha. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, do you I'm, want people to follow you or no? Uh, they can. I, I don't post nothing. <laughs> really, no worries. You just your, my bike rides and yeah, stuff. Yeah, you're, you're a mountain biker. Uh, yeah, man. I'm, I'm, yeah. Biker. We did a road bike ride today. I did 17 miles today. First time on the bike this year. So, but yeah, that's so, awesome. Yeah, um, Instagram handle. That's what I'm on 99 percent of the time. Uh, WMD underscore 1375. So weapons of mass destruction. Like like how but that's um, really my okay. initials. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. See yeah, did yeah. There. Okay. But, yeah. All right, and you can follow me at DJ Silk on Instagram. Spill Threads X. Yo, X is a fucking terrible place. What is the that? old Twitter? Yeah. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. It's called X. It's called X. Yeah. It's it's a terrible. It's it's a horrible place. It's my. I mean, no, seriously. Yeah, I I've it. seen so many people die, like so many death videos. Really? But the porn is top tier. So <laughs> there is a silver lining yeah. in everything if you yes. look hard enough. Right. Yeah. I had to delete that shit. That was too much. It's, it's really it's really a set. It's the cesspool of digital wow. uh, social media. Yeah. But I don't. I haven't been on Twitter in ever. And I'm on there. So at DJ Silk, and then so X spill threads Instagram mm-hmm. DJ Silk uh, on TikTok and. Um, Mixcloud.com, DJ Silk 12. Uh, you can catch me every Friday, 88.9 FM, WEAA, the voice of the community, with the lovely Erica Kane, Lena J from 9 to 920 for Soul School Mixes. And then, of course, the replay on demand version is available on Mixcloud at 10 a.m. Uh, oh. I know, man. Jeez, I mean, you need a separate podcast for just all your shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, yeah, no, <laughs> that's what's up though. I yeah, mean that's you got, you got yeah absolutely I am that's proud it. of you man for doing that. Thank so, you. Yeah, to think that I walked away from this shit and then come back and get into radio. That's amazing, right? right. You never know, right? Right. So yeah, so Soul School on Mixcloud.com is an amazing situation. Please enjoy, check it out. Mm-hmm. Um, but so we're done. So we're out. Say bye guys. Bye. <laughs> thanks for having <laughs> thanks for having us man. No problem. It's beautiful. All right. All right. Oh that was supposed to be